So just talk to us about what's going on today, your opinion and what's been happening. Well, you know what? We found out the, that the pods are closing and I'm not happy about this. You know, I've been talking about this for a long time. I've said that they need to stay open until all of the lead service lines have been replaced. And that was what I put in the letter that we sent to the governor yesterday and we got our response. And, I mean, what do you think about what's going on? What, what, is this fair for the residents? Well, you know what? I don't think so. And and the thing is, you know, I don't want to diminish the, the, the progress we've made with the quality of the water, but we've always said that we need to keep this in place until we have all of the lead and galvanized lines replaced. And I think that's that, that would have been the best thing to do. And that would have shown some sensitivity to what's going on with the people of the city of Flint. What do you say to the folks that were out here earlier? There was almost a fight in the road. I, I'm know? not surprised. I'm not surprised. I think that this was just terrible timing. I think they could have let this go on longer. Uh, we've we've, we've uh, made that request over and over and over, and um, they made their decision. I mean, we're talking, what, I mean, what's it, you know, you don't want to trivialize money. Right. But, you know, for, for someone's mental health, the, the people and, with and that's, so much. How and much that's they what break. we were talking about. And that's why I said we know that uh, water has gotten better, but we're talking about a, a city that's been through a crisis. And we're also talking about letting us get through this lead service line replacement. And we're trying to rebuild trust. And you talked about the mental health, uh, you know, and the, and the mental state of people. And that's why it would have been just so much easier for them to leave this in place until we got through this. Can you imagine this? How, how do you describe this site right now? I mean, cars lined all the way down the street, both and, sides. And we like, knew that's what would happen. We knew that's what would happen. And so I hope that they're going to send us some more water because this water's going to run out quickly. What do you say? To, is there anything that can be done with Lansing at this point? You know what? And that's one of the things we've talked about is we've got to continue to advocate and fight for ourselves. And we've also got to have our, our state representatives, our state senator, our voice in Lansing speaking up and speaking out on our behalf. And we need to all do this together. As soon as I found out about it, I did uh, contact, of course, our chief of police. I contacted Herb Winfrey, our, our council president, and Dr. Pugh to let her know what was going on. But we need to band together and we need to make our voice louder down in Lansing. What would you say to the folks that are, are clearly panicked right now uh, well, over the situation? You know what? I don't want people to panic. We need to keep our wits about us. We really do. And we need to think through how we're going to continue to fight for, you know, fight for ourselves and fight for our people. So if we panic, we don't make good decisions. And so we need to be calm. It doesn't mean that we need to not be angry. We need to not be upset. It doesn't mean any of those things. But we need to make some good, sound, tough decisions. And we need to uh, voice them in, in Lansing. Disappointed that a representative from the state of Michigan was not made available to go on camera today to answer some of the questions. Well, I, I yes. <laughs> what can I say? Yes. Because you left. Now you're left. And and, and and that's what happens. That's what always uh, seems to happen. Is a, a decision is made. It's made quietly down in Lansing, but then we're left here in the city to deal with it and to deal with the fallout and the consequences. And I want people to know that we are not going to just roll over and we're going to continue to fight. Now some people want